Good uh, afternoon, everyone. Uh, we have hopefully another short press conference with you. Um, I know most of you are concerned uh, with um, some issues and some questions. We, we have here people from the Peace Drive um, who would like to give you information and eyewitness accounts of what happened when they tried to move peacefully from uh, Tripoli to Benghazi. Uh, we, uh, we have one Marta from the Peace Drive. We have the family here with us. Uh, we have uh, some of the participants. We have more of them sitting on that side of the hall, and of course they are in the hundreds. Um, they want to give you an idea of what happened. Uh, but before we get involved in this, I'm going to open the floor for questions for a few minutes. Uh, and then we are going to uh, talk about the Peace Drive and what is next for Libya. What is, what is Colonel Gaddafi's reaction to the defection of his long-time ally, <coughs> right-hand man, Musa Kusa? Well, um, Mr. Musa Kosa uh, asked for a sick leave because he was exhausted uh, physically and he had uh, diabetes and high uh, blood pressure. Uh, the government uh, or the authorities um, gave him the permission to leave the country to look after himself because he was in bad need for um, intensive medical uh, care. And uh, we, since he arrived in Tunisia uh, a day after, uh, we didn't have any communications with him. Uh, we understand now that he uh, resigned from his position. That's his personal decision. Uh, in Libya, we have um, uh, a popular political system in which people replace people, and the battle for Libya to be independent and free does not depend on one person or one individual, but on the hundreds of thousands and millions of Libyans, such as these young men and women leading the fight for Libyan freedom and independence and political change. So his choice to step down from, from his position, as we understand it, because we haven't been officially notified by him, uh, it's his personal uh, decision. Uh, and we don't have a comment, basically, on this. Um, other people will step in to do the job. But for Colonel, sorry, the question was, but for Colonel Gaddafi, is this a big blow? Is yeah. this a big blow? Colonel Gaddafi is uh, surrounded by uh, many, many people who admire him and are prepared to work with him uh, and under his leadership. Uh, it's never dependent on one person. Uh, many young Libyan uh, who were born inside the era of the revolution, uh, they regard themselves as his pupils, his students, his men and women, and they believe, although they believe in the importance of leading Libya forward towards a better political system, better economic system, better uh, life for Libyans, but they do believe that it's under the leadership of, the, of Muammar Gaddafi that this could take place peacefully and gradually. Yes, please. Musa, do you think this is some kind of tipping point, this defection? Because people in London and Paris and Washington are wondering whether there are going to be more defections to come. No, I don't think so. Um, I watched the reactions of, you know, I'm a Libyan citizen at the end. We are a very uh, integrated society, and I talk to um, many, many people. And, um, um, you know, this is not like a happy piece of news, is it? But people are saying, so what? You know, if someone wants to step down, that's their uh, decision. Um, the fight uh, continues. When I say the fight, I mean, of course, the struggle on all fronts. Uh, education, health, media, transport, fuel, medicine, food. Uh, to secure Libya's future and our position is still the same as before. We are ready to talk, we are ready uh, for peace. We have always been ready for talk and peace. Uh, we are ready also to fight, physically fight for our freedom. Uh, yes, please. I can hear you. It's this is right. someone who was at the, the, the kind of the helm of government for a long time. He was in the 
head of the intelligence ministry, uh, foreign minister, are you at all worried that uh, someone like that could do damage to the cause of uh, Libyan independence, uh, as you described it? Are you worried that he could provide uh, operative, uh, or operational intelligence to uh, forces that would be opposed to uh, the government here? Well, um, as I said, uh, we do not depend uh, on individuals. I really need to get this point across. Uh, in Libya, what we have is a popular revolution that has been going on for 42 years. The, the movement itself is a movement of the masses, a movement of many, many, many hundreds of thousands of people. It, it's not dependent on individuals. Uh, the leader, uh, Muammar Gaddafi, provides this symbolic significance of one person. He, he, uh, he acts like a father to the nation. Other individuals are uh, as important as, like any individual is as important as any other individual. Yes, Mr. Musa Kosa worked in high-ranking positions in the government, but we do not think that he will um, sacrifice the safety and the future of his country. He is a man who truly, and seems maybe genuinely, feels tired and exhausted. He's an old man. He has uh, serious health problems. Uh, his heart, his body could not take the pressure. Um, you know, we understand that. We gave him the permission to leave Libya. Uh, and we hope that he will uh, recover uh, mentally, psychologically, and physically, and rest. This is all we are hoping for him. Yes, please. There are reports out there about resignations of other officials, such as the Prime Minister and um, the Security Chief and the Speaker of Parliament, who have been given the permission to leave. I saw my own name uh, on uh, some channels. And some uh, news agencies and channels mentioned that I was in London. The others said I was in Paris. So, and, and you know, basically, we don't have any uh, uh, information that anyone left the country or left the fight for Libya. Yes, Nick. No, he was, he was given permission not to leave for good. He said he needed some medical uh, treatment for you know, a few days in Tunisia. Uh, and we said yes, yeah. so uh, we expected him to come back. Uh, are there yes. any other government officials at the moment uh, seeking medical leave in Tunisia? No, not to uh, the best of our knowledge. I answered this in English. I jawabt ala hadha bil English, bas hadha rah jawabuk. Al-Sayyid, I'm going to answer this question in Arabic. It's the same, basically, it's considering the Mr. Musa Kosa. Ya akhi, Al-Sayyid Musa Kosa talaba mughadarat al-balad li asbab sahiya, li annahu rajul yu'ani min majmu'at amrad sahiya, wa daghat al-amal kana shadidan bin nisba lah. فالسلطات سمحت له بالمغادرة طبعا كأي مواطن ليبي أنتم تعرفون أن الليبيين يقصدون بعض المصحات الخارجية للعلاج وغادر لهذا الغرض الآن نحن نسمع أنه قرر أن يستقيل ويترك عمله كأمين للاتصال الخارجي بليبيا هذا قرار يخصه نحن في ليبيا لا نعتمد على أفراد في قيادة المعركة من أجل حرية ليبيا واستقلالها نحن لدينا الملايين من الليبيين من العائلات والقبائل الذين يقاتلون على الجبهة ضد العدوان الأطلس